and another St. Patrick's Parade happening on the coast and one I attended myself. I stopped in past Christiane for an up-close look at how the crew of Blarney rolls. The 2024 St. Patrick's Day Parade made its grand entrance in past Christiane Saturday thanks to the crew of Blarney. Featuring marching bands, Boy Scouts, and a sea of spectators dressed in green. And of course, the Grand Marshal and Colleen, both in shock to receive the honor. You know, it was dropped on me as a surprise, and uh, I'm really honored to, uh, that they offered it to me. Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, I love this little town, and uh, it's given back to me, so I'm giving back to it. I am really, really honored. My dad was the Grand Marshal in 2022, so it was a surprise for me to be nominated, and I'm just very happy to be here. The miles-long parade route started at the intersection of Davis Avenue and wrapped up at Bacchus. Blarney Captain says he looks forward to the celebration each year. You know, we meet several times a year and, and we got it down to a science, really. Everybody knows, everybody has a job, and it, it all just comes together on a beautiful day like this. And much like for the captain, many parade goers say this St. Patrick's holiday feels like a family reunion. Some telling me what they love most about this Greenfield gathering. St. Patrick's Day brings out the cheer in everyone. Everybody is smiling. Our community comes out and gets together. It's the com camaraderie. Uh, my dad was born and raised in Ireland. So I raised, I lived in England all of my grown up years. So I'd spend most of my summers in Ireland with my dad's family. So it is, it's very, very special. Anytime that I can get together with these people, these people are my second family. Um, Anytime I can get together with them, this is this is a great day. Reporting in Pass Christian, Lauren Martinez, WLOX News Now. Happy St. Patrick's Day!